Today we're delving into Unit 3.3 of the first half of General Chemistry, which covers molecular weights. If you find value in this video, please like it and let people know about the channel because it really does help spread the knowledge. Molecular weights, MW, is the sum of the atomic masses of all the atoms in a molecule. It is also commonly re referred to as molecular mass and typically expressed in atomic mass units, AMUs, or Dalton's DA, for the chemist that introduced them, John Dalton. For the time being, think of it as the mass of a single molecule or a compound. In the case of water, H2O, the hydrogens don't just tell you that the atom, what the atoms are in water, but also how much one molecule of water weighs. We can look at the periodic table to get the corresponding AMUs for hydrogen and water. To calculate the molecular weight of water, we add up the AMUs for all the atoms. In this case, the formula is 2 times 1.008 AMUs plus 1 times 15.999 AMUs to get 18.015 AMU. One of the most common procedures that use chemical formulas is determining the percent composition of specific elements in a compound. For example, what is the percent composition of carbon and hydrogen and methane, CH4? The first step is to determine the molecular mass of the elements in the compound. The molar mass of carbon is 12.01 grams per mole. The molar mass of hydrogen is 1.008 grams per mole. Step two, calculate the total molar mass of the compound. The total molar mass of methane CH4 is one times 12.01 grams per mole plus four times 1.008 grams per mole to equal 16.04 grams per mole. Step three is you calculate the percent composition of each element in the compound. The percent composition of carbon is one times 12.01 grams per mole divided by 16.04 times 100% to get 74.9%. The percent composition of hydrogen is four times 1.008 grams per mole divided by 16.04 grams per mole times 100% to get 25.1% composition for hydrogen. Molecular weights are also important because chemists use them to calculate stoichiometry in chemical reactions, determine the concentration of solutions, and to predict the physical and chemical properties of compounds. Based on what you learned, think about the following question. Determine the percent composition of each atom in ethanol. Thank you so much for spending your valuable time learning and bettering yourself. If you like the video and want to learn more, donate, or get tutoring, please check out my website, nocollegeneeded.org. You can use the code NCN for 20% off tutoring and any supplemental materials. If the subject isn't up yet, please be patient. I'm working on bringing them up as soon as I can.